Bats are fascinating creatures. They're the only mammals that can truly fly, and they perform amazing acrobatic maneuvers to hunt prey that put our best aircrafts to shame. So what's their secret? They fly using these flexible, multi-jointed wings covered in a thin skin membrane. And the skin is endowed with a multitude of sensory receptors that allows them to sense their environment and tune their flight. To understand what receptors in the wing could be providing sensory information to the bat when it's, say, diving to catch prey or avoiding an obstacle, we used a tracer dye in the wing and also stained wing skin to see what receptors were present. So these studies revealed three main types of receptors. The first are Merkel cells, and these are found in humans as well. And we use them for tasks like exploring object features and feeling the edge or curvature of an object. And similarly, bats climb walls and cradle their young with their wings. So we found these receptors in places where they could serve this function, like the thumb and the fingertips. Hair receptors are concentrated at the leading edge of the wing, and this is precisely where a vortex of air is really important for maintaining lift in flying animals. So we think that these hair receptors could function to monitor turbulent airflow. A third type of sensory receptor is found in the skin between the fingers of the outer wing. We think that these receptors are responding to stretch, so they could be important when the bat changes the shape of its wing or responds to changing winds. Unlocking the secrets of bat flight could help us build better aircraft technology. For example, engineers could build hair-like sensors to monitor airflow and wind speed. Currently, planes monitor wind speed with these holes. They're, they're very simple, but they get plugged up and they cause lots of plane crashes every year. So this would be a nice advance over what we currently have. Because bats rapidly integrate different types of sensory information during flight, such as sight, sound, and touch, Studying them can help us unravel larger secrets about how brains can quickly process complex information.